Hey guys, this is Bix. Welcome to another Mentoring Monday. In today's topic, I'm going to talk about the inspiration behind my new track, The Journey of Now, which is out now on Nocturnal Nights Music. I wanted to create a track to remind myself to live in the present moment, the now, the journey of now. My mind is continually racing, bringing up the past, and even worry about the future. Just constantly thoughts bombarding my mind, it seems like all the time. Have you ever had the feeling of being in the zone? You're so focused that you lose track of time. You feel alive and joy and peace just dominate. While this experience exemplifies what it's like to live in the moment, for the most part, it's just not very common. We so often allow our thoughts to come in our mind about the past or the future. There's nothing wrong with this, but when we dwell too much on the past or worry too much about the future, we rob ourselves of experiencing what's in front of us. One of the things that I do when I start obsessing over something in my past, I just say this one powerful word to my mind, stop. This helps me redirect my thoughts. Here are some other practices that help you live more in the moment. Truly listen to what people are saying. What a concept. Listen. And how they are feeling about what they're saying. If you want to work yourself into any kind of management or leadership position, you must learn how to be an active listener. You can do this by saying, let me see if I understand what you are saying and then repeat what this person has actually said to you. Do this instead of always thinking about what you're going to say next or how you're going to respond. You'll make a much deeper connection with that person and better enjoy the moment. <clears throat> Be aware of your thoughts. That's not easy. It's estimated that we have as many as 70,000 thoughts per day coming through our mind. If we consciously take notice of what we are thinking, even if it's only for a few moments per day, we can recognize thought patterns and redirect them into something more positive. I'll look back on the day and self-reflect on what negative thought patterns that I had so I can catch myself more easily the next time I go down this path. Eat more slowly and savor food. I love doing this because I love good food. Obviously there's times when we're in a hurry and we need to rush, but I love to pair a good bottle of wine with a particular food and savor each bite of that food with a sip of a perfectly matched wine. My taste buds come alive. It's a pleasurable experience. I enjoy the moment. Breathe consciously. Conscious breathing, <sighs> noticing our breath, is paramount among all things that can help us be in the present moment. When we focus on our breath, we can even slow it down, breathe deeper and more evenly. This reduces stress and anxiety, lowering blood pressure and improved energy. Focusing on our breath also halts negative thinking and creates more peace and clarity. Focus on one task at a time. Research shows that multitaskers are less likely to be more productive. Multitaskers may feel emotionally more satisfied with their work, but that's only an illusion, not real productivity. Do an act of kindness. When we're being kind with the intention of making someone's day or bringing a smile to that person's face, we're actively engaged in the moment. There are so many ways to practice kindness and doing so will not only make you feel good, but will have a positive and possibly long lasting effect on someone else. Practice gratitude. Being grateful gives us a boost in happiness. Feel the instant boost in happiness in our mind when we practice gratitude. The opposite of gratitude is arrogance. So who do you want to be around? People that practice gratitude 
or arrogance. Grateful people are humble and are so much more fun to be around. One of the best examples of arrogance that I can think of in present day are people who survive COVID with mild symptoms and don't take this pandemic seriously. Not trying to get into the political part of that, but rather than showing gratitude that their immune system was good and healthy and prevented them from possibly dying, they don't show respect for the pandemic or other people's boundaries. The same holds true for people, or for some people, who experience success. When you win or are successful at doing something, practice gratitude by giving credit to other people who helped you rather than bragging about your success. It's so much more rewarding to give credit to others and make them feel good. People will want to be part of your success story. Relish the day. Do you ever think about what a blessing it is to get another day? Tomorrow's never guaranteed, although that's easy to take for granted. Each new day is a gift and the only appropriate response is the gift of gratefulness. If you learn to respond as if today is the very first day and the very last day of your life, then you'll have spent this day very well. With these practices, you'll start to notice how much more peace and even happiness you feel by living more in the moment. Feel the power of now and experience the journey of now in your life. Well, that was a rather long explanation of the inspiration behind my new track, The Journey of Now. I hope it's inspired you in some small way to live your life in the present moment and experience more joy and happiness. So until next week, this is Big signing off. Remember, it's never too late to reinvent yourself. Cheers.